monster, I do smell all hoarseness, at which my nose is in great indignation. So is mine, do you hear, monster? If I should take a displeasure against you, look you. Thou wert but a lost monster. Good, my lord, give me thy favor still. Be patient for the prize. I'll bring thee to shall boldly this mischance. Therefore, speak softly. All's hushed as midnight yet. Nay, but to lose our bottles in the pool. There is not only disgrace and dishonor in that monster, but an infinite loss. That's more to me than my wedding. Yet, this is your harmless fairy monster. I will fetch off my bottle, though I be over ears for my labor. Pretty McPee, be quiet. Cease thou here. This is the mouth of the cell. No noise and enter. Do that good mischief. Make, make this island thine own forever. And I, thy Caliban, for a thy footman. Give me thy hand. I do begin to have bloody thoughts. <laughs> o King Stephano, O Peer, O worthy Stephano, look what a wardrobe here is for thee. Let it alone, thou fool. It is but trash. O oh, whole monster, we know what belongs to a rippery. O oh, King Stephano, put off that gown, Chinkalo. By this hand, I will have that gown. Uh, thy grace shall have it. The drops you drown this fool. What do you mean to do us thus? On such luggage, let it alone and do the murder first. If he awake from toe to crown, he'll fill our skins with pinches, make us strange stuff. Be quiet, monster. Mistress line is not this my jerkin. Now is the jerkin. Under the line. Now, Jerkin, you are like to lose your hair and prove a bald Jerkin. Do, do. We steal by line and level. Things like your grace. I think he would a jest. Here's a garment for it which shall not go under warning. While I am king of this country, still by line and level is an excellent pass of pay. There is another garment for it. Monster, come put some line upon your finger and away with the rest. I will have none on it. We shall lose our time and all be turned to barnacles or to apes with foreheads. Villainous low. Monster, lay to your fingers. Help to bear this away where my hog's head of wine is, or I'll turn you out of this kingdom. Go to carry this and this. I and this. Hey, Mountain, hey! Silver, there it goes, Silver! Fury, fury, their tyrant, their hark, hark. <laughs> Go charge my goblins that they grind their joints with dry convulsion, shorten their sinews with aged cramps, and more pinch spotted, make them than pard or cat on mountain. Hark, they roar! Let them be hunted soundly at this hour. Lies at my mercy, all mine enemies. Shortly shall all my labors end, and thou shalt have the air of freedom. For a little follow, and some services. Now does my project gather to a head. My charms track not, my spirits obey, and time goes upright with his carriage. How's the day? On the sixth hour, at which time, my lord, you said our work should cease. I did say, so when first I raised the tempest, say, my spirit, how fares the king and his followers. Confined together in the same fashion you gave in charge, just as you left them, all prisoners, sir, in the line 
grove which weather fans your sail. They cannot budge till you release the king, his brother, and yours abide all three distracted, and the remainder mourning over them, brimful of source and dismay, but chiefly him that you term, sir, the good old Lord Gonzalo. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Your charm so strongly works then that if you now behold them, your affections would become tender. Dost thou think so, spirit? Mine would, sir, where I am human. Is thou which art but air, a touch, a feeling of their afflictions, and shall not myself, one of their kind, that relish all as sharply passion as they, be kindlier, moved than thou art? Though with their high wrongs I am struck to the quick, yet with my nobler reason against my fury do, do I take part. The rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance. They being penitent, the sole drift of my purpose doth extend not a frown further. Go, release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. I'll fetch them, sir. You elves of hills, brooks, stranding lakes, and groves, and vow that on the sands, with printless foot, you chase the ebbing Neptune, and you fly him when he comes back. You demi puppets that by moonshine do the green sour ringlets make, whereof the eve not bites. And you, whose pastime is to make midnight mushrooms, that rejoice to hear the solemn curfew, by whose aid, weak masters, thou you be. I have bed in the noontide sun, call forth the mutinous winds, and twixt the green sea and the azure vaults.